Hi guys, well you know you've gone full fantasy when you start making movement templates. Right, I've been working on my own movement templates, so I just wanted to show you guys what they look like and why I bothered, because let's be honest, there's lots more on the market. Right then, here they are, um, and as you can see, the miniatures are all touching. Now one of the things that I uh, I looked basically for some some movement trays because I've gone and built myself or rather got into Skaven which is essentially a, uh, a horde army let's be honest um, and so I was I was playing some games and I was finding that I was moving around 40 of these guys um, and it was taking a lot of time and of course when you've got them in groups of five like this you can move them around nice and quick but one of the problems I found when I was looking at the, uh, the other movement templates online is that one, they weren't touching, like they are here, and two, they had a lip at the front and back as well. Um, and what that means is that when you're basically in combat with something like this, um, these guys have an inch reach. And in order for these guys to, uh, to use that full inch reach, they have to kind of go in between each other like that. And what that means is this guy here is within an inch and this guy behind is also within an inch because these bases are slightly less than an inch and they are staggered as you can see um, and they're also touching so regardless of how I place these the miniatures are touching um, so it's a time-saving uh, thing and it also means that I can use it properly for combat and all sorts of stuff so that's basically why, why I made them so how did I make them so basically all it is is uh, styrene. Let me see if I can get it in. So there you go. I uh, mocked up some designs on the old plastic card cutter and ran them through. And then all it is is just these uh, one mil. So it's one mil thick. It bends and whatnot. And then these parts here are also one mil. And you've got these edges here. The whole thing needs tidying up because there's some very rough edges around here. And you can also see here that there's a bit of a lip on on that bit there. Um, and that can actually catch the uh, the bases, so how you some of them like click into place. Um, but interestingly, what that does actually do is it means that they stay on the base <laughs> like that. Um, so you end up with a movement tray that you can turn upside down, which is quite funky. But basically, to release them, you just bend it, and then they come out. So that's what I've gone for. I've made these guys here. I've made quite a few of them. Though they're not completely finished, you can see here they're missing the uh, the end bits on the on the top there. But um, yeah, I can't help myself. I saw something that I wanted, um, it wasn't exactly to my taste, so I went ahead and made my own version, which is what these are here. Um, so I'll be using these in the upcoming games, and I'll uh, I'll let you know how I get on with them, because of course they uh, they may. It may be that I find that they, they don't actually work and I'm I'm not that happy with them anyway. <laughs> you never know. I've not played a game with uh, movement trays before. Um, but we'll we'll see how it goes. At the end of the day, I've used one sheet of one millimeter uh, plastic card to make these. So no big loss. Right then, that's basically what I wanted to cover. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, whether you know of any site that sells uh, movement trays with uh, without a lip on the front and back and with a very small lip on the edges and um, be very keen to hear because to be honest these are a little bit rickety um, and I think maybe having some MDF ones might serve the purpose a little bit better you never know otherwise I'll be sticking with these and of course I'll let you know how I got in right keep up with me in between videos over here thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one Stay well, guys.